Lucy and Adrian find their dream fertility doctor, but after becoming pregnant, Lucy begins to notice something sinister behind this industrial science, and she sets out to uncover the unsettling truth about these people. Hi friends, welcome to Drama Nerd. The drama starts with a disappointed couple Lucy and Adrian who are struggling to conceive a baby. Lucy feels hopeless after experiencing multiple negative results after tying for so many times. When Adrian suggests seeing a fertility specialist, but Lucy is as reluctant on this because she wants to conceive naturally. After much persistence by Adrian, she finally agrees to give him the chance. They go to Adrian's former teacher and a top fertility doctor to see if they could get any results. There is a fancy building where Dr. John runs his own fertility center by the name Kindle Women's Center. After entering the clinic Lucy and Adrian meet John's head nurse Dawn who offers them a warm welcomes. After filling out the paperwork Lucy goes in for an initial basic test. After the exam Dr. John shows up and greets the couple. Lucy complains that she and Adrian have been trying to conceive for two years. She also mentions that she's been taking a healthy diet exercising and avoiding alcohol. John promises to help her conceive with the best possible technique. While observing Lucy's inner vitals he talks about how brilliant and generous of a student Adrian was, and how he enjoyed teaching him medicine, Adrian is flattered but remains humble. After the observation John tells Lucy that her inner organs are perfect and that she may conceive after insemination. He shows her the photographs of happy mothers who successfully had babies after his treatment. It turns out that John has invented a technique of his own called Hindle fertilization, which is a mix of both IVF and IUI and he wishes to use it on Lucy, expecting her to market the method through her brilliant marketing marketing expertise. The following day at the office where Lucy works, her colleague Greg informs her that their boss has been considering Lucy to lead on an important project. Lucy jumps with excitement at the news and thanks Greg for recommending her to the boss. Meanwhile Adrian prepares his seeds for the fertility process. Later Lucy is called over at the fertility clinic and inseminated with the seeds using the special method John invented. Soon enough Lucy feels symptoms of pregnancy in the office and finds out that finally the it's positive. Excited the couple starts deciding baby names. Lucy insists on using the name Wendy if they have a baby girl and Adrian suggests naming the boy Adrian Jr. The next day Lucy informs Greg about her pregnancy. Her other two colleagues Brian and Mahal also find out about the news and congratulate Lucy. After some time, she goes back to the clinic for an ultrasound, only to discover that she's pregnant with triplets male twins and a female. John suggests a selective reduction to ensure a healthy pregnancy and successful birth, which means either the twins or the daughters should be aborted. However, he advises on keeping the boys, claiming that they seem to be strong enough compared to the girl. At night the couple goes to dinner to relax their minds and make a decision. Adrian suggests the doctor's advice and also because there are not many chances for them to get pregnant again. However Lucy wants to have a girl, as she thinks having two babies at a time will be a lot and it will also impact her work life. When Adrian expresses reluctance about her decision, Lucy explains that she always envisioned having a girl. Soon Adrian agrees with Lucy's decision and decides to have a baby girl. He also informs Lucy that John wants her to market his new fertility technique. Lucy agrees to write a story or a speech to give John's magic technique out there for the people. After a while seeing Lucy worried about the reduction procedure Adrian suggests she join a mommy group to make friends who are also pregnant. Following his advice Lucy joins a group of expecting mothers who are fascinated to know that Lucy got pregnant through the leading fertility Dr. John. Before the reduction Lucy discovers Grace Singleton, a spiritual American African midwife on a magazine cover. Just then John calls her in for the procedure. During the providence Lucy loses consciousness, just then hearing Adrian and John talking about her having a fairy tale ending. She then has a nightmare about her daughter fading out and blood scared she wakes up and finds Adrian and John entering the room. When she asks John about the reduced twins John tells her that the reduced fetus is attached to the placenta and get extracted with the afterbirth without affecting the baby. On their way home Lucy tells Adrian that she heard him and John were talking about weird things during the procedure, but Adrian demises her concern concerns, saying that she might be dreaming. Soon after Lucy starts showing up she experiences excessive bleeding from her uterus. Adrian rushes her to John who tells them that there is nothing to worry about, as Lucy's uterus is making room so it's stretching and bleeding strangely. He forbids Lucy and Adrian from googling any information as it will only cause confusion. Lucy feels suspicious, and while leaving the doctor's office she stares at the secret room labeled the lab. Later Lucy keeps looking at the magazine cover where she read about Grace. She also starts accepting selling at work and presents a mind-blowing pitch to her company, receiving multiple compliments. As a result she gets to lead the wife project account ecstatic. She starts thinking that her life is on track and she has everything a woman dreams of and aspires to be. She also befriends Marcy from the group who got pregnant through IVF. Marcy talks to Lucy about how she's facing
facing complications with her pregnancy and is recommended to bed and rest. Later at a conference Adrian presents John with an award by talking about how he fundamentally changed the field of fertility. After Adrian's speech John gives a thank you speech in which he talks about the pleasure he feels to be able to give the happiness of a child to a desperate woman. At night while watching Grace's video Lucy suddenly hears something. She gets out of bed to check and discovers a safe in Adrian's office. The following day she meets Marcy who tells her that she took a second idea and has a good chance of having a healthy baby. Lucy is happy about the news but suspicious about her own unborn baby. She shares with Marcy that she's seeing wild dreams about her baby and thinks that John did something to her unborn daughter, of which Adrian is aware. Marcy consoles her by explaining that motherhood is not easy and that she must be strong later. At night Lucy watches Grace's video in which Grace talks about how doctors nowadays claim that women's bodies are at high risk and in their control, whereas Grace thinks that women are gifted with the highest potential purpose for humankind. She explains that she became a midwife because she wanted women to connect with their bodies and feel the spiritual current that flows through them. She condemns modern gynecology as it deprives women off the experience of the richness of natural birth. Suddenly Lucy feels so deeply connected to Grace that she starts realizing her feelings and screaming which makes her feel free and empowered. The next day at work Dawn shows up out of nowhere asking Lucy to return the magazine she borrowed from John's office. Lucy feels strange and becomes certain that something is wrong. She goes to see John who assures her that the baby is absolutely fine. Lucy returns the magazine and apologizes for keeping it for so long. John also apologizes for Dawn's behavior and explains that she holds him very close to her heart and feels proud of his success. Before leaving the office Lucy again stares at the lab and feels something strange is going on behind the doors. Later at work Greg informs Lucy that she's losing momentum on the wife account and that it's being handed over to Brian. Heartbroken, she goes to see Adrian and tells him that she's being taken out of the project. When she tells Adrian that she got him food Adrian is perplexed because she got him lunch for the second time that day. Moments ago bewildered they go to see John who tells him that Lucy is suffering from a prepartum depression and prescribes her medication. Don suggests Lucy to enjoy her pregnancy journey to feel better, and happy Lucy then goes to see Grace and is excited to see her in person. Grace comforts Lucy with her words and as a result Lucy starts opening up to her, talking about how she wishes that her unborn daughter gives her a missing piece of the puzzle that she lost with the death of her mother. At night Lucy has a dream where she sees John and Adrian having intimate relationship. Suspicious, she wakes up and opens Adrian's safe only to find a file on her that has pictures and proving that she is being followed. Apprehensive Lucy shows the file to Marcy, explaining to her that the file says that she's being used as part of a study that she didn't sign up for. Marcy becomes confused and decides to show the file to her lawyer husband to get a lawyer's perspective on Lucy's rights until then she suggests Lucy to behave normally until she gathers more information. Later while taking a bath Lucy visions nearly drowning in a bath full of bloody water. Adrian helps her out of the bathtub and gives her the medication that John prescribed her. Lucy pretends to take the medicine in front of him but spits it out after he leaves. The next morning Lucy tells Adrian that she's quitting her job and planning to not take Dr. John's services as he gives her bad vibes and she doesn't feel safe with him. Adrian gets mad and fears that John will be disappointed by him. But Lucy does not care. She ignores Adrian's wish to continue with John and holds a baby shower where she invites Marcy during the baby shower. Marcy gives her a first edition copy of Peter Pan that Lucy's mother used to read to her. Strangely Lucy visions seeing Peter Pan's shadow morph into an expanding bloodstain on the book cover. Just then Lucy realizes that Marcy knows her real name, although she never told her that. When she asks Marcy about it, Marcy laughs it out blaming her that she's thinking from her mommy's brain. After Lucy storms out Marcy goes to check on her and admits that she started consulting Dr. John through Adrian's help. Lucy feels betrayed after finding out that Marcy gave the files back to Adrian, the only proof she had. When Marcy tells her that Adrian denies having a safe in his office, Lucy freaks out and starts experiencing contractions, and Adrian rushes her to Grace for delivery. While giving birth Grace tells Lucy that she gave birth to a baby boy. Surprised to see the excessive bleeding Grace insists they go to a hospital immediately to deliver the second baby. Adrian takes Lucy to John who delivers the second baby. After the delivery, John takes Lucy's removed placenta and reduced female fetus and packs it in a plastic bag. Lucy is shocked and unable to sink in what just happened and Adrian convinces her to bond with the twins. After getting discharged Lucy goes to see Grace to vent her emotions but realizes that 
the image of her as a magical midwife goddess was not real. Seeing Lucy overwhelmed and vulnerable Grace tells her that it's her job to solve her own problem. She goes to John's clinic to confront him about reducing the wrong baby. Dawn takes her to a room and suggests to be grateful for having two healthy babies and a wonderful husband. She also reveals that Adrian is joining John's clinic and will soon join hands with John in his gynecom logical practice. Suspicious Lucy sneaks into John's lab only to find a bag containing her removed placenta and reduced female fetus. Hysterical Lucy bursts into tears seeing the baby she desired to have. Just then John enters the lab and reveals the unsettling truth, in which confesses that he uses his own sperm to inseminate all his female patients, and did the same to Lucy. According to him there's so much terror in the world and he believes that his genes are the best. He shows Lucy a refrigerator full of his sperm vials through which he plans to extend his bloodline via male births. Fearful that Lucy might leak his secret he attempts to kill her by drugging her with an injection, however Lucy kicks him and slams a mirror on his head, she then ties him to a chair to torture him. When Don tries to to interject Lucy gags her with a medical instrument and then injects her with a drug, she then gets on top of John and punches him severely. To torture him further she destroys the refrigerator containing his sperm and leaves the room with the reduced fetus. Seeing her covered in blood the patients in the waiting area freak out. Lucy then arrives home and visions herself releasing the twins to float out the window. Adrian arrives home and is surprised to see her face covered in blood. When Lucy asks him if he knew that they were having twins, he tries to make her understand that he thought that the deal was with John would have been good for them both. This infuriates Lucy and she hands the twins to him furiously asking him to leave. The film ends with Lucy picking up the female fetus and trying to breastfeed it. Suddenly she starts hallucinating that the fetus is latching onto her. 